So let's talk about the uh, UML views. When, when documenting an architecture using UML as a convention, uh, there are a range of um, diagrams that are available to represent different things. And we can't represent all of them in one place. So, um, somehow we, we, we haven't invented the diagramming technique that, technique that allows us neatly to show uh, both static elements and dynamic elements, as well as control elements, all in the same diagram. Now, possibly you could, but you, go, you would finish up with an overloaded, um, difficult to understand diagram. So we don't do it. So the standard views include the class diagram. Now this gives a static uh, view, a static view of the elements of a system and their relationships to each other. Uh, people who uh, went for mapping the information model of a system um, find these particularly useful. So it's pretty good for that purpose. Um, it doesn't describe the movement of information or the control of the system or the passing of control of the system. But it's very good for describing um, the elements and their attributes and the relationships to each other. Next we have the sequence diagram. Um, this does uh, show the um, the responses, the the, um, the sequence of messages between objects. It shows the dynamics of the system. Uh, it's not alone in that, that uh, sense, because we also have the communications diagram. Uh, it does show uh, which classes participate in any particular transaction or any particular message sequence but it doesn't show quite the detail of precisely the message uh, passing sequence that a uh, sequence diagram does. The fourth uh, very common UML diagram that is used is the state transition diagram. Now this is uh, very important for um, control systems where the control system changes from, from mode to mode and it shows the stimulus to assist when it shows the state of a system, the stimulus that, that prompted it to shift into that state. Um, the whole diagram shows a collection of states and probably the transition from state to state and the, the, um, uh, the stimulus that, that uh, prompted it to shift into those states. So um, the state diagram, when I looked at it, uh, it, it looked an awful lot like uh, flowcharts. Um, that you're considering the, the different states of a system in, in response to different uh, stimuli.